Up until now, we've used CSS-like selectors to select different parts of the DOM. However, sometimes it's faster to use something we call traversing. Let's take a closer look. Here we are back in our HTML and we want to select all the list items again, but this time we don't want to use a descendant selector. How can we do this using traversing? Here's our DOM again. And in the previous level, we selected all the LIs by writing pound destinations LI. To use traversing, we can call pound destinations and then call the find method on the DOM object which gets returned, sending in the LI parameter so that it finds all the list items underneath the destinations element. When you're finding elements using traversing, it typically has two parts. The first is a selection, in this case pound destinations, and the second part is the traversal, in this case, find li. Traversing, as you can see, takes a little bit more code, but to find specific elements in the DOM, it's a little bit faster. So remember how we used the first pseudo class to find the first item in that list? Well, to do that using traversing, we can simply specify the first method, like so. As you might imagine, instead of using the last pseudo class, we can use the last method. So we know how to find the first element and the last element with traversing, but how might we find the middle element in this list? We can do this using a technique called walking the DOM. So if we called li.first, it's going to give us that first list item, and if we wanted, we could chain another method onto it. So we could call li first dot next, and that would return the middle list item, which is what we want. This technique of calling multiple methods together is called method chaining. If we wanted to, we could keep on chaining more and more methods onto this. So if we called first dot next dot prev, which stands for previous, it would go back to the first list item. Sometimes we're going to want to walk up the DOM. We might be able to select a child element, and then we want to walk up the DOM to its parent. How might we traverse up the DOM? So here we've selected the first list item, but what we might be interested in is the parent. To get the parent, we would call first to get the list item, and then we can simply call parent, which is going to select the unordered list, which is what we want. Sometimes we might want to walk down the DOM. So we might have a parent, but we want to walk down to its children. So how do we traverse down? Here's that unordered list, which has another unordered list inside of it. Now, if we only wanted the direct children of the destination's unordered list, we could do that using traversing by calling pound destinations and using the children method, specifying that we only want the children, which are list items. Earlier in this level, we used find. If we use find here, it would have selected all of the list items. However, we only wanted the direct descendants. That's why we're using children here and specifying that we want all the children that are list items. All right, well, it's time for you to play around with traversal in the challenges, and I'll see you in level three.